Welcome to Introduction to FEMAP, a series of videos for those new to using FEMAP. In this video, we will take a tour of FEMAP's user interface. We'll look at the main components of FEMAP's user interface, including its command interface, graphics windows, and tab and dockable panes. Let's begin by looking at the overall layout of FEMAP. The title bar displays the current active FEMAP model file and view. The main menu provides access to the majority of FEMAP modeling and editing operations. The status bar in the lower left corner of the main FEMAP window displays the number of nodes and elements in the active model or displays a brief description of commands when a menu is activated. The status bar in the lower right corner displays the current property, load set, constraint set, group, and output set. Clicking on any of these objects activates a menu that allows you to activate, create, and manage these objects. You can also toggle the display of one or more groups. Models can be dynamically zoomed, panned, or rotated. The FEMAP user interface contains multiple panes that can be docked, floated, and tabbed. FEMAP's commands can be accessed through several methods. The main menu bar where commands are organized by task, such as geometry and meshing toolbars, and shortcut keys. And through many of FEMAP's panes, such as the Model Info and Meshing Toolbox panes. Shortcut keys and or toolbar icons also appear on menus. FEMAP utilizes common dialog boxes for selection, specifying coordinates, vectors, and planes. Shortcut keys can be utilized within these dialog boxes as well. Within a FEMAP graphics window and inside a pane or dialog box, right-clicking the mouse will activate a context-sensitive menu. Thank you for taking the time to go through an overview of the FEMAP user interface. To find out more, visit us at siemens.com slash plm slash FEMAP or call your local channel partner.